Solid Edge includes a powerful set of capabilities that improve the communication of manufacturing information using PMI, or Product Manufacturing Information Tools. The digital twin can be completely documented with all necessary dimensions, tolerances and geometric characteristics necessary to build quality products, much as we see here with this Bernina sewing machine designed in Solid Edge. The seamless interoperability between NX and Solid Edge means that all of this rich information can be consumed in downstream operations. Here we can leverage the digital twin for advanced manufacturing feasibility and quality simulations like tolerance analysis in solutions like NX VSA. So let's take a look. So here is the same data opened in NX and to demonstrate the use of VSA tolerance analysis we'll take a look at the plushness variation between the access door and the body of the sewing machine. But before we get into the analysis Let's look at the PMI that's been assigned to some of the parts by opening them. As you can see, all this has come through automatically, even though the assembly was originally authored in Solid Edge. Also, the dimensions and annotations are all associated to the correct geometry or faces in the model, as shown by the highlighted faces when the annotation is selected. In VSA, it's important that the PMI reference the appropriate geometry that is being controlled by the tolerance. So we're all good here from that point of view. Next we'll create a parent assembly and go into VSA to take a look at the structure in the process navigator. Here we can see the components and the features that have been created based on the extracted PMI and reference geometry. Here features could be planes, holes, pins, slots, tabs and more. They're all automatically extracted in VSA. As you highlight a feature in the navigator, the geometry associated with that feature also highlights. Let's switch over to a fully completed analysis and have a look at the assembly operation. An assembly operation is what we use to assemble the parts together, just like they're going to be assembled in the factory. For this example, we'll take a look at the assembly operation associated with this access door. There's four features here. Firstly, a hole hole alignment, then a second hole hole alignment on the other side, a slot tab alignment to position the door in the X direction, and then finally a rotational stop. You see all those features highlighted in blue and red. So we have an assembly operation created for each component. Now we'll take a look at a measurement operation with this plushness measurement between the two points on the corner of the access door and the body. Here spec limits of plus or minus half a millimeter have been defined. And with that we're ready to run the simulations. In this case it will be a set of 5,000 simulated builds along with a separate set of contributor simulations to determine the contributors to variation. The results are shown here in a thumbnail. We can see we have the normal standard deviation and the estimated range of percent out of spec. The process report shows a great deal more information and we can see 5,000 simulated builds again showing nominal, mean, standard deviation values, variation range and percent out of spec. In the contributor report, we'll see a list of the features that are contributing to the variation ranked from highest to lowest. And as you select a feature in the contributor list, its geometry highlights on the 3D geometry. From here, we could easily make PMI changes, make changes to the assembly operation and redo the analysis if desired.